a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. <laughs> you take it out. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Trying to bury something that's still alive. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. and the history you're a part of. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them for what that's worth. And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. 
three of the gerbils were mine, and two had been my fault. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. She said she dreamed about the old house every night. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. We never found Milton's body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along, for me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. But looking back on it now, If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. They were both pretty intense.
Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Dawn, I promise, you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are gonna last a lifetime. Mm hmm Am I gonna have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. Okay, got it. Take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Hmm. Hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. No, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Your grandpa Sven taught us how to fish, how to build a fire. We found an old logging trail with deer everywhere. Dad! Good eyes, Don. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Dad, I... I... Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. survive. You need to be strong. Great shot, Don! <laughs> I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? I think That's it's totally so... normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about. Dad! Oh! Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me.